another episode of Racing to Learn. We are going live for the first time here. We uh, are a nonprofit that gets kids excited about about uh, math. And look at our Traxxas Revo three point um, one. Its predecessor, the the Traxxas T Max, uh, came before it. But we, uh, yeah, why don't we cover the the two point five here? Right now, we've got this Proline um, um, MT four G three. A little bit flaky right now. Uh, so apologies if there's a, there's a clipping in the video, but, uh, again, we're trying this out for the first time, seeing how it, against our Thunder Tiger MT4 G3, the first E-Revo killer, the, the 2 point, um, the later point three motor in it. Uh, I, I guess that would be a .3 CC nitro motor. I don't know because we, uh, we bought this one to brushless it was using the how to rc kit that um i don't have the mounts there there's somewhere else on the, on the shelf i think but uh zarma to court over patent infringement over these lay down shocks that were on the arma the arma brand but um the down shocks those trucks are no longer with us thanks to that lawsuit uh so anyways um we uh it had the the old school pro line big joe twos um no, sorry the big joes the big joes i stand corrected uh, been uh, they've been uh, since uh, replaced but um this and top heavy so we um it, it could have been motor we were running it with we were we, we threw in a honkin hobby wing 4072 motor the, the same motor we're running in our uh, 3S battery wheeling all the time, probably due to that short wheelbase. Um, we'll, uh, we'll include a video description, uh, link to the entire playlist. Totally wreck uh, Wrangler body with it because of, uh, all, all the times that this truck spent on his lid. <laughs> uh, but alas, we have the, the Traxxas Revo 3.3. This is a Proline um ram body that is uh that's the long wheelbase version i this is a couple years old it's um we, we bought a whole bunch of these uh pro line uh tracks as slash two wheel um, i guess this one didn't make the cut probably because the body mounts where they lined up uh we ended up going with the for the slash and we went with a pro line uh c10 body x was uh really held up um so uh, we're, we're trying to fit this RAM body onto uh, the Revo 3.3, but you'll see that it's just way too long here. It, it's it's covering up the bumper. A roll cage underneath, and you know, clearly it hasn't been trimmed to fit yet because we don't know what truck it's going on yet. Bumper and <laughs> the Lexan body kind of defeats the purpose of the bumper. So we'll get this out of the way, put this off to the side, um, and we'll let you know what our plans are for this truck so uh so this roll cage we got off of ebay i think I, I don't know who the manufacturer is it might be raven rc if i remember correctly uh is and um some didn't fit so uh i, I think the e-revo actually so the electric version actually in the but um anyway we're, we're, we're probably running a cage on this um so you know, you'll see the transmission uh, we locked this one up, um, you know, when it was running on nitro. You don't, you need that with combustion engine because it can only run one way. So um, you you definitely don't want to have it go the other way or else that will, you know, you're, you're going to blow uh, the piston uh, or something or a seal in it. So uh, with a, a brushless motor, that's different. You you actually there in live mode, sure what got cut off, but I was talking about uh, taking out there with um, a brushless motor, and in fact, we don't want them to be there to, to simplify things, um, and also, um, yeah, just to have one less possible point of breakage. So, um, how we locked up the transmission pretty easy. You, you basically, um, yeah, there's there's tons of videos and resources on that. If you guys can't find that, uh, let me know, but um, pretty easy stuff there. So, we locked this, you'll see that this has a, um, a metal. 
uh, spur gear on this. Uh, we may or may not continue running high power. Um, and in this truck, we're probably going to refrain. Maybe the max this truck is going to see is, is 3S, just um, to preserve the integrity of the differentials. The differentials in this uh, in the Revo um, are actually kind of notoriously uh, weak. That's why they came out with the E Revo 2. Um, uh, I mean, in in the 3.8 inch, you know, massive tires on this, uh, there's a lot of stress on on those um, on those uh, differentials, and so they don't hold up too well to uh, this, um, just like we do on our on our T Max um, brushless conversion. Uh, on this truck is a pain. Like you, yeah, you basically have to take a, apart the the whole front half of the truck because. Um, the differential bulkheads are integral to the suspension, so literally you've got to take half of this truck apart just to access one differential. So we don't want to do, be doing that on a regular basis. Um, you know, fortunately with newer trucks like the ProLine Pro SC, Pro MT, you know, all the Arma trucks, um, even the the Red Cat uh, Kaiju, you probably got to remove. I don't know, a whole bunch of disassembly just to get to the diff. So um, to uh, to avoid that, we we are not going to run a lot of power through this. This is probably going to be more of a just a, a light duty. Uh, <laughs> we're not going to bash hard with this like we do some of our other trucks. So, anyways, uh, let us know what you guys think. We will catch you next time. Stay safe out there and. Um,